ins- anything that makes insulin go up in- increases your risk for cancer because insulin is a growth factor. Okay. Secondly, because insulin causes mitochondrial dysfunction, okay, it increases these other phenomena, like for instance, the pentose phosphate shunt and the um, uh, Randall cycle and the de novo lipogenesis, which is what cancer cells need to be able to multiply and divide. Okay, so it's basically feeding the cancer. Number three, certain cancers, particularly pancreatic cancer, have an enzyme in them called transketolase. And what that can do is that can take fructose and turn it into glucose in the cancer cell only so that when you're actually consuming sugar, you are feeding the cancer specifically. Yet, what, what do we give cancer patients? Ensure, which is like straight fructose. So you are actually feeding the cancer. So that, that, that's like ridiculous, okay? In addition, because fructose interferes with mitochondrial function, that sends a feedback mechanism to the rest of the cell to divide because dividing cells are in growth phase. They don't have mitochondria. That's why cancer cells don't have mitochondria. That's why fetal cells don't have mitochondria. Anaerobes don't have mitochondria. They grow the fastest, you know, provided that the conditions are right. So bottom line, anything that interferes with mitochondrial function puts you at risk for cancer.